friends today uh, this video is about uh, indian pen maker uh, lotus pens and uh, this particular pen is come new in their production line the pen is vikrant lotus vikrant these are handmade pens from custom acrylic and ebonite blanks i had been wanting to review this model for quite some time but then when we got the when i got the model done it was actually a custom made and so uh, i was not sure how to put forward this particular uh, piece and now uh, lotus pens has launched it and the pen has been named vikrant just a brief history uh, the pen was uh, initially commissioned uh, uh, as far as i know after uh, after the uh, insistence of uh, two enthusiasts from uh, mumbai india uh, these were pradeep and uh, kapil they approached mr manoj of phosphor pens with their design ideas and simultaneously this was by uh, mr arun and uh, it was commissioned uh, uh, from their line as well and uh, that's how things started i have received this in my custom uh, blank of conway stewart dartmoor um, the pen from lotus comes in a small plastic box and then you have the lotus uh, this sleeve cardboard sleeve uh, after this you see a kind of a snake leatherite finish um, this is a simple cardboard box we have a lotus sticker on top of that and then you have a box which has a smooth inner inlay as well as sometimes it also ships with uh, i think this is a 8000 grain nib smoothing sandpaper well where is the pen the pen is here the pen comes in uh, some beautiful velvety pen sleeves and this is a big pen and there you have the lotus vikrant this pen is it's beautiful it's got a big heft to it the pen in this particular blank has a lot of weight and the dimensions are just perfect um at the outset i'd like to point out that uh, the pen is now in the current production line is available in some particular uh, acrylics as well as uh, some particular ebonite finishes so um these the link of this particular uh, model is available in the description below and you can contact that address and there are group buys going on uh, probably you'll get a bit of discount i'm not sure so you can just log on to their description and they'll let you know further and there are some uh, beautiful acrylic as well as uh, ebonite finishes so you can take your pick on that before that began uh, this was on our own custom blanks so dartmoor is conway stewart you can see this this is a brilliant shit ions to it as well as a depth and a very very different kind of a material and the grain uh, quality to this and the finish has been immaculate the the finish from lotus pens is is simply uh, superb the pen is uh, a take uh, i'd say it's a uh, it's a uh, kind of a, a take on izumo and i Um, I'd say that the dimensions of Izumo uh, are pretty well being dwarfed by the dimension of this pen. Uh, the way it fits into the hand, the way uh, the feel of this pen in the hand is is uh, is simply great. Um, I don't know how it would handle in a ebonite finish. Uh, obviously, they will become lighter, but then um, in in acrylics, they are simply perfect. Coming to the uh, coming to the particular parts the finial has been rounded uh, it's smooth uh, the clip a uh, typical lotel clip you see a triangular facet here and then the clip narrows down with a small rib in between you see lotus um brand here the clip is coming out through this small um through this small window out here you can't really make it out because the finish has been very good the clip is functional Uh, it has got a bit of stiffness to it but at the same time it has a good amount of give away and it doesn't hold the fabric up at the bottom and pretty nice clip um the the uh, the cap the clip is long uh, if i compare it with the other pens you'll see that the clip is long but still you have a lot of uh, barrel length at the bottom and the pen length is so big that it's difficult for you to uh, hold it in the top shirt pocket of yours i think this this cannot be done very easily 
uh, and this pen has a small bulbous a bulbous appearance right through onto the barrel and then it starts tapering down and then again a sharp taper down to the bottom and again a very round uh, rounded bottom there as it opens you'll see that there is a small step down from the barrel but then this is so far back that uh, you won't even feel this and you have a long writing section and the threads have been cut out in a brass um, in a brass fitting just almost on two third uh, of the dimension of this uh, writing section the writing section has a lot of girth to it and it feels very good while holding the pen and even if you are holding it on the threads it gives a kind of a friction feel to it and doesn't let you slip with your grip although even in those, this material it doesn't it doesn't do that you see a small lip at the bottom and then you have a yogo nib this one is in medium um, yogo nibs uh, are again fantastic uh, with their smoothness and wetness uh, this has a typical housing and you can have your own custom you can simply screw it out and then have it or have your own uh, one with it um, the barrel opens up with these threads so you know that this brass fitting is onto the barrel and not to the writing section and then you have the housing and then you have this typical schmidt converter with it uh, with the yogo nib Uh, the pen cannot be posted but the length of the pen is so that uh, you won't even like to post you see it's it's as such it seems to be oversized pen posting it it will doesn't post very well as as well as you won't like it to become top heavy with this don't need to post it all if i have to compare the size of this pen two typical pens which i'll uh, for size comparison is montblanc this is 146 and a pelican m1000 so it dwarfs the pelican m1000 uh, in size comparison and uh, there you see that even the girth of the pen um, is pretty wide um if you compare the writing section of a pelican m1000 it's it's wider than that um and as the taper goes up uh, you, you see that it becomes uh, wider still but still um, even with a wider grip section than uh, than pelican m1000 it feels it feels great in the hand while writing very reassuring to hold so coming to how the pen would write so here we go with lotus vikram this particular is in dartmoor cs blank you won't find that in the regular production line as of now so um, you may have different acrylic or ebonite uh, finishes available with you and this one is yogo medium steel nib the ink as i mentioned is platinum mixables earth brown well uh, there is nothing to add to yogo the quality is superb out of the box always consistent writing very very less need or hardly any need to tinker with their feeds or tinker with their nibs um, the medium nibs has a kind of a moderately wet quality to it uh, not exuberantly gushing although their broad writes very wet i think i am more in liking with the broad nibs of uh, of yogo rather than now the medium one Uh, but still you can see that the 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 wetness of the nib is uh, towards the higher side of average uh, the smoothness is 
just right there is there is hardly any feedback to it and even on this um, simple photocopy paper you would see that it performs very well it's very smooth so if i have to rate on a visual analog scale of wetness uh, does perform very well and for smoothness well ultra smooth ultra i won't say very smooth yeah it is very smooth um do these nibs flex well they are very stiff and they won't give away in comparison i've seen bock nibs to be having a more bit of uh, flexing cap capability than a yovo one but then these are not uh, what these nibs are meant for they are for regular writing i don't think one should try to flex these reverse you can't it doesn't no reverse writing possible with this so overall um, one of the best pen designs that i have come across uh, one of the best pen blanks that i have seen uh, the finish is immaculate it's done a fantastic job with the finish and um, really thanks to those uh, uh, fenton fountain pen then enthusiast who brought up this design and then it got into a regular production um, so i hope you like the pen and i hope you like the video with this i end this and i will see you in the next one take care